so cloudy out. Happy Tuesday. I am just getting ready really quick. I'm contemplating if I should even bother putting any makeup on my face. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do a little bit. Just in case. Just so I'll feel a little bit more put together if we take photos but i am about to go get my hair extensions put back in so i had sew-in extensions like the beaded beaded weft beaded bro i've heard it be called so many different things but the type of extensions where they take a row of your natural hair they clamp these little beads and make like these little mini ponytails essentially and then they sew a weft of hair extension into those little ponytails so it's like a semi-permanent kind of thing you don't take it out every night it's like sewn into your hair and then you just get it moved up every few weeks or so i had them last year for i want to say like eight or nine months maybe and at the time my natural hair was actually pretty long and i just added them to add some fullness to it but now if you can see by these little pieces sticking out my hair is quite short for the past like almost year now i have just continuously cut it shorter and shorter and just played around with different like medium and short-ish lengths and it's at like an awkward length right now that I don't really love. I feel like I either would want to cut it a couple inches shorter or I want it to grow a few more inches. So I figured this is kind of the perfect time to play around with extensions again, at least just for the next few months as my hair grows out. And I still have the hair from when I had them the last time. It's still in really good condition. So I figured why not? And one of my suite mates, a hairstylist that is in the suite like a few doors down from mine, she specializes in extensions. I personally don't do extensions, but I have clients that ask me about them all the time, and I think it would be great to be able to refer them to someone that is in the same building as me, because like how convenient I could do their color and then they could just walk a couple doors down and go get their extensions put in. Like I, we've met and we've talked before, but I haven't ever like sat in her chair and really hung out with her and talked to her for like multiple hours at a time, you know? So I'm excited to get to know her and um, just see what the experience is gonna be like. And then that way I can start referring my clients because that's one thing about me. I like to try things out for myself first. I like to have like firsthand experience before I refer it to other people. So I cut all of the thread off of the extensions. I have them right here. And actually, they're still a little bit damp. The top's pretty dry, so we can just blow dry those really quick. I meant to do this yesterday so they could just dry overnight, but I completely forgot, so. Um, but yeah, I cut the leftover threads that were on some of them and I washed them so that now they're nice and fresh. And she told me that I can just come in with my hair dirty because she's going to wash and blow out my hair before the installation anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to leave mine in this really ratchet looking bun. Um, but yeah, this is all the hair that I have. So this is all going to be on my head in a couple hours. I do remember when I had these, it took a little bit of time to get used to the feeling of them on my head. It is kind of tight when you first get them put in and then, you know, like sleeping on them the first night or so is a little uncomfortable and they can get a little itchy, especially once they're grown out, like when it's time for a move up. So I do remember that and I know I'm gonna miss the feeling of like having full access to my entire scalp and being able to like get in there and really like scrub my whole scalp when I'm washing my hair. But sacrifices we make, there's pros and cons to everything. I am really looking forward though to just having like fun, pretty hair and feeling like I have more options with my hair too. Like with the length that it's at now and especially the way my haircut is, it's just like all one length and then I have these bangs I'm growing out. So it's kind of, it's just like an awkward situation. It's kind of giving helmet hair. So <laughs> I feel really limited in the styles I can do. And I'm excited. These extensions, if you can tell, they do have like a soft curl to them. So they blend with my natural hair texture pretty well. So um, I'm looking forward to just being able to like let it air dry and just get to like do different looks and 
you know, not always have to like heat style it. So I'm gonna grab my stuff and we will head over to the salon suites. So excited. I'll see you soon. I am like feeling myself. So here is hair. She did such a good job. I told her I wanted to keep them as long as possible. The ends were kind of stringy and they weren't all the same length because like some of the hair I had used before and we cut a little bit of it. So in order to make it all look like nice and healthy, she did end up cutting a little bit. I think like originally it came down to like here-ish, but I think this is good because it's still like super long, but without being like ridiculously long. And I might end up cutting them a little bit more, but I didn't want to do that right off the bat because A, it's kind of fun to have like super long hair, but also, you know, like, once you cut them, there's no going back. And I also realized, especially in the back, my hair is starting to fade, so I'm kind of due for a gloss. So I'm gonna do that to myself at some point. Next time I'm ready to wash my hair, probably. And that'll definitely help it blend even more. So she ended up doing two and a half rows. So I have two full ones in like the like the bottom and then the middle and then the one on top is like a half row it just goes from here to here just to fill that in um and help it blend a little bit more in the back but it feels really good like it feels comfortable it doesn't feel like too heavy or overwhelming or too thick so yeah i am super happy and excited i might end up like the front right here kind of bothers me a little bit I feel like this is gonna be a pain to deal with. So I might take my texturizing shears when I'm at the salon tomorrow and like just cut into that. You see how like heavy and blunt that is? I feel like this could get like thinned out a little bit and then it would sit a little bit nicer and not look as obvious. But otherwise, I think it looks really good. I just feel like a completely different person. It is so crazy how your hair just changes the way that you look i feel like i look so much younger i am trying to keep this a secret from my boyfriend because we are long distance at the moment but i am gonna see him next week we're going to a wedding together and i didn't tell him that i was getting the extensions and i want to try and keep it a secret so that he'll just be surprised when he sees me so i think i'm gonna just pull it back and like <laughs> a loose ponytail when we're on FaceTime later so that way he won't be able to see it and I'm just gonna have to try to do that for the next week because I fly up and see him next Wednesday so we got a full week to try and keep this a secret and it's gonna kill me because all I want to do is like take selfies and post pictures of this but she was really wonderful it was great to get to hang out with her and get to know her, and she is certified in pretty much every type of extension, 
which I did not realize. So very, very impressed. Her name is Emily and her salon's called Beauty by Emily Wade. So I will put her Instagram in the description. If you guys wanna go check her out, give her a follow, show some love. I do have a video that I did last year when I had my extensions the last time where I went into a bunch of detail and answer some frequently asked questions about like maintenance and price points and all of that so if you are curious because it's like the same exact method that i got back then and i show in that video like what the wefts all look like and all of that so i'll link that video in the description i'm gonna go make myself something to eat it's like five o'clock now and i have been watching the lyle and eric menendez show on netflix and i have one final episode left so I'm gonna go finish watching that while I eat my dinner and I will see you guys in the morning oh and actually I'm gonna take an Excedrin with my dinner I am NOT in any discomfort right now it actually feels really good like it's a little bit tight especially like on the edges of them kind of but like not any tighter than like a tight slick back ponytail would be but i do know from last time and she even told me this time around she was like definitely take some advil or something when you get home because they probably feel fine now but in a few hours it, they will probably give you a headache and i'll probably take some more right before i go to bed luckily i have been sleeping with like a neck support pillow so i feel like i don't end up putting a ton of weight directly on my head like where the extensions are at so hopefully sleeping tonight won't be too uncomfortable but i will check in in the morning and i'll let you know how that goes i got this yesterday at trader joe's it is so good we're gonna have a slice of that for breakfast I'm never gonna get used to saying the word Beyonce. I know that is. So I ended up only taking Excedrin once yesterday with dinner and I never ended up getting a headache. So I didn't have to take more before bed and sleeping last night was comfortable and felt completely normal. I had no issues and waking up this morning it does feel tight and it's like a little tender to the touch if i really like push down hard but they feel really really comfortable even more so i feel like than when i got them the last time i don't know if it's just because like i remembered the feeling and i knew what to expect or it could just be that maybe her technique is a little bit different than my friend who did them for me last time what i do want to do is i want to tie these pieces underneath here because i feel like those stick out and it makes it not blend as well so i'm gonna just like grab the extensions just pull all my real hair down and clip these out of the way thinking like even this underneath here i could just kind of tuck behind my ear and then pull it back and then I have a little black rubber band and I'm just gonna tie this into a little ponytail and just make sure it's like nice and flat let that down and that makes it blend a lot better because now I don't have those little pieces underneath here sticking out the hair on top of the extensions, you can blend those like by cutting the hair and make it just look like, oh, you just have layers. Like these shortest pieces are just the beginning of my layers, you know? But when you have those short pieces that stick out from underneath, that's an instant dead giveaway that you have hair extensions. And I'm gonna just take a little bit of hair oil. Let me know down below. Do you think that they blend better styled like this or how they were styled yesterday? Okay, let's pick some jewelry, shall we? 
little snake chain perhaps i love these too like what a cool shape oh yes i love some stacked chunky gold earrings i'll show you guys my outfit in a second but i feel like this is going to be perfect because the outfit is really giving 90s but it's also like a pretty simple outfit so just accessorizing with some jewelry and this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Anna Luisa thank you so much to them for continuing to work with me and help support my channel they make sustainable high quality jewelry at an affordable price their jewelry is also hypoallergenic and water resistant so if you are someone like me and you like to just be able to throw on your jewelry and leave it on like I do with my bracelets and a lot of my earrings. You don't have to worry. Their jewelry doesn't tarnish. I keep it on in the shower when I'm exercising, when I go to the beach, if I'm swimming in the pool, and I haven't had a single piece of Ana Luisa jewelry go bad on me and I have been wearing their jewelry for years now. And what's great about their jewelry is you don't have to break your budget. Their jewelry pieces start at $39 and they have gold and silver pieces. They also have a worry-free guarantee with a two-year warranty on all of their pieces, which that says a lot. So these are the pieces that I am wearing today. These earrings right here I absolutely love. These are like a newer piece. These huggies I have had for at least a year or two and I'll take them out once in a while to clean them but for the most part they always stay in my ear. You can see like how good the quality is and then this snake chain as well. If you guys want to check out Ana Luisa for yourself it makes a great gift for yourself or a great gift for a loved one I will have a link in the description that will save you up to 25% off so if you have been wanting to try some of their jewelry, now's a perfect time. And thank you so much, Ana Luisa, for sponsoring this video. Here is my outfit. Don't mind my unmade bed. I feel like I say that all the time. This top is from Cider. I love it. And then these jeans are from Zara. And I'm gonna take this cropped button up from Altered State and just throw it on top. So yeah, I am going to work at the salon. I only have one client today. Um, and it's one of my sweet mates. Is that the right word for it? Sweet mate? It's another person that is in the same building as me in, you know, their own suite. I believe she's a dietitian, and I have not even run into her at all yet. So I just want to know all of my neighbors in there. So um, this will be perfect opportunity and like this week I'm just getting to meet everybody. She is super blonde and just gets like a bleach in tone. It looks like she's naturally like pretty light anyway so it should hopefully be a pretty quick easy appointment. Let's go get this day started. I was just chugging water and it went down the wrong pipe <clears throat> and now I feel like my voice is gone but <clears throat> I just finished my client totally forgot to get an after clip I'm just realizing but it came out really good it's funny because when I was in cosmetology school I loved doing bleach and tones I was like the queen of them and most of my classmates at the time like didn't really like doing them so they would all just get sent to me like that was just my thing I loved it but I don't like they're not as common anymore like people really are favoring low maintenance color these days so I just don't do them that often and I was a little nervous because she had like a good amount of grow out but it came out perfect like perfectly even, no banding, perfect beautiful tone, toned evenly, like, oh, so satisfying. I am super happy with how that came out, but I am going to lightly texturize these pieces in the front. I don't want to make them like stringy looking, but I do want to just make them a little bit less blunt so that they will blend a little bit more. So I'm gonna split this into a smaller section and then I'm gonna use my texturizing shears. So these, you can see like all these little lines here um, so that when you cut, it doesn't just cut 
a solid line. It cuts like a zigzag kind of. So that way you don't end up removing length, you just remove weight and thickness. Um, and you could just like go in and cut horizontally, but I find that then sometimes you can literally see the lines. So I always like to do it at sort of some type of angle. And just cut up into it just on the ends. I just do a little at a time and then I brush through and I see how that feels. I think that's perfect. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this section. I'm just kind of like twisting it around my finger so that it flips out. <clears throat> yeah like can you see how much softer that is now instead of having like that really thick blunt line yeah that's gonna be so much better so can you kind of tell the difference between this side now and this side like you can see that solid line there Whereas now here, this is like a lot more diffused. I definitely need to restyle it because now I brushed it out and it's not as waved, but yeah, that definitely just helped soften that a little bit. I'm gonna do this top layer too. Look at all that hair. And that was just thickness. No length. Just took a little bit so that would help this sit a little bit flatter, but not too much that then when I get my extensions out in the future, um, you know, I don't want my hair to look like super stringy and thin on the ends because then it won't look as healthy. So perfect amount. Well, I am all done in here. So I'm gonna grab my stuff and head home. Sorry that the lighting sucks. I just got home. I got some packages. So excited. So first I got some more productivity shots from Magic Mind. This is what they look like. I've shown these before. They have like green tea and matcha in them so they give you energy without like the caffeine crash. I'm actually gonna take one of these right now because I'm <sighs> it's like that midday slump where I'm feeling tired, like I could use caffeine. But also, if I were to drink something with caffeine right now, then I probably have a hard time going to sleep later. Then I got this apron for the salon because I normally don't wear aprons because when I have a cute outfit on, I just don't want to cover it up with an apron because then it like defeats the whole purpose of dressing cute. And a lot of the times I find that when I wear an apron, I still manage to get color on myself anyway if I'm doing something really messy. So it's like, what's really the point? But then I saw this one. I also find aprons, the ones that like go around your neck, I find them to be so uncomfortable. But this one, you can put these straps on however you want. So you could do around your neck or you could do like around your shoulders, which looks so much more comfortable. And it's just so cool. Like these black chains, just super edgy and it's see-through. And they do make one that is 
completely clear, but I liked the black because it just like adds a little something, but it's still clear enough that you can, for the most part, like see your outfit through it. And I like that it comes around a little bit more, it has more coverage. So hopefully it actually will protect my clothes. And all the other ones that I had before were fabric. So they would get stained and it just like looks like a hot mess. And this is nice because you can just wipe it clean. So I found that on Amazon. I can link it for you guys. And then I got my package. I ordered some stuff from Shein. I got two jackets. They're kind of like, like lightweight coats, jackets. It's just perfect because down here in Wilmington, it will, like in dead of winter, it will get cold. Like we'll have cold days where sometimes it'll drop down maybe in the 30s at like the absolute coldest, but it usually stays pretty mild. So like my big winter coats, I don't end up using them. So I wanted to get something that would be good for the winter because I have like one puffer coat and that's pretty much all I've been wearing in the winter time because it's the only thing I have that's like warm enough but not too big and too warm. So I wanted to get more like Wilmington appropriate winter jackets. So this is the first one. I love it. This like vintage washed faux leather bomber jacket. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. I love that it's like more of an oversized kind of fit. Cause I have other leather jackets, but they're like more fitted. Whereas this is like nice and loose and I can really layer underneath this. I also thought it would be perfect because the wedding that I'm going to next week, it's in upstate. I feel like that time of year, it's gonna be chilly where I'll probably need a jacket, but like not cold enough that I'll need a full on coat, you know? And then this is the second one I got. Oh, I love this. The faux leather with the Sherpa. And because it's lined inside with the Sherpa, it's actually really warm. But then obviously like it being cropped, it's not as hot. And then I got this nude bag. This feels super cheap, but it was like $7. And I honestly, I just wanted it for the wedding. And I mean, it's good to have in general, like these small bags for going out. I have a small black bag, I have a small white bag, but I didn't have a tan colored one. And the shoes that I'm planning on wearing to the wedding is like this kind of tan color. And then the last thing I got is just some underwear because I just needed some more. And I really like those like soft, seamless, unlined kind of underwear. So I got just like a bunch of different nude colors. That's my little haul. I got a lot of comments and people that DM'd me on Instagram saying that you guys have also been going through like a weird slow season right now. This week so far is not as bad as last week was, but same kind of thing. Like tomorrow I have two clients, but then Friday and Saturday I just have one client each. And we're supposed to be getting another storm coming through on Friday. So who knows? I think it's supposed to be pretty bad, so I hope that all of you out there are safe and your homes and everything are okay. I have no idea how bad it's supposed to actually be here. I don't think it's passing directly through, so we'll see what happens this weekend. I mean, if the weather ends up being really bad, I might end up having to reschedule my weekend clients. We'll see. But you know, it's one of those things where, like I said in the last video, you have ebbs and flows like you have your periods where you're super super booked and busy and then you have times like right now where it's just slower and that's just part of this industry you know it's the nature of it and i know that we have the holidays coming up soon i already have like the week before thanksgiving i'm already like almost fully booked people have been already like booking out into november and december so 
I know it's going to pick up and we're going to, I'm going to be real busy soon. So I'm trying to just enjoy the slower weeks, you know, like today, it's kind of nice. I had my one client, went in and did that. I made some money at least. Um, and now I have the rest of the day to just like relax and chill and do whatever I want get some stuff done around the apartment, you know? So, can't complain. Good morning. I'm getting ready to go to the salon and I just got a text that State Board is there. I didn't realize that they come by that often because they were just there doing like our initial inspections maybe a month ago. And I know the whole point is like, they are supposed to just pop in unannounced. But I feel like every salon that I've worked at in the past, it did not feel like they came by that often. I passed with an A, no problem last time, but still, there's always something just nerve wracking about knowing somebody's coming around with a clipboard to look for something that you did wrong. Here's the fit for the day again. Excuse the mess behind me. This top is from Lily Silk, I believe. And then these shorts are from Cider. And then my cowboy boots are from Target. So yeah, let's go head to the salon and see what happens with State Board. Such, ooh, such a good day. Not only were my clients amazing, but it was just one of those days where like the hair came out so good, everything just went so smoothly and it flowed and was easy and I finished right on time. And actually with both of them, we ended up doing more than what I originally thought and what we originally booked for. And somehow I still ended up finishing right on time. And I had time in between clients to like clean, which is so nice. I love those days. It's like everything goes right. Oh, and stay bored, never ended up coming in my room. But I think what it is is that everybody in this building kind of moved in on different days and started on different days. And there are some people here that ended up moving in after the initial inspection that everybody else went through. So I think she was just here to go inspect like the new rooms. So yeah, she didn't even come in here at all. I am quite tired now though. So that was six, six hours, which is perfect. That's a little bit on the shorter end actually. Tomorrow we're supposed to have that storm coming through. I can't remember if I talked about that already or not, but yeah, there's a hurricane. So I texted my client that I have in the morning tomorrow and I said, you know, let's just play it by ear and see how the weather is in the morning. And you know, I was like, if you don't feel comfortable coming in, especially because she's like a town over, you don't feel comfortable coming in, we can reschedule, no big deal. So who knows, there's a chance I might not even end up coming in tomorrow. Good afternoon. It's literally 12.45 right now. This is what it currently looks like outside. It honestly hasn't been that bad. It really only started raining recently and it looks like in the next hour or so it's supposed to slow down and then stop altogether by four. So not too bad. And then tomorrow and like all the days to follow, it's supposed to just be sunny. My first client this morning though did end up rescheduling um, just to be on the safe side, which I'm totally fine with, you know, like it's better to be safe than sorry. Hence why I'm still laying here looking like this in my pajamas at almost one in the afternoon. 
and it sucks because you know the weather is so crappy so it's not like I could go outside or do anything I don't really want to go out in this right now so I've just been sitting on the couch posting on Instagram booking clients and whatnot um, and watching some YouTube videos on the bright side even though I had that client this morning reschedule I had a new client that I had been waiting to hear from. She wanted like a last minute appointment. I got her booked for tomorrow afternoon, so it kind of balances out and takes the place of like the money that I would have made from the appointment this morning. So today I just have one client on my schedule and she's just getting a haircut. It's kind of like a bummer. It sucks to go in just to do like such a short appointment, but it is what it is. I have laundry and stuff I have to put away anyway and like things I need to clean. So I have other things that I need to do while I'm there. So not a big deal. But yeah, that's all I got going on today. So I am going to finally <laughs> pull myself together. I will see you at the salon. Alexa, pause. That was so easy. <laughs> she just wanted to cut a couple inches off, just straight across, super blunt no layers or texturizing or anything. And she doesn't have like a crazy amount of hair, so it was very easy and quick. I literally did that in like 30 minutes. Consultation, washing, cutting, blow drying, checking her out, all of it. So that feels good, super easy day. I'm just going to clean up and then I have all this clean laundry that I'm just gonna put away. That way I don't have to worry about it when I get in tomorrow. I'm gonna put you right over here. I'm gonna put my music back on and let's do a little time lapse. Saturday. This has felt like the longest week. I don't know why, but I will say I am very grateful that it's bright and sunny out because the weather greatly affects my mood. So if it was a gloomy, rainy day today, oof, would have been rough. At least I have the sunshine to like <laughs> perk me up a bit. By the way, I got these makeup products sent to me from Armani Beauty. I can't remember if I showed them in a previous vlog, but they just sent me some PR. So I have the Luminous Silk Concealers, which I've been obsessed with. They have been my go-to concealers, especially the days when I'm just doing like really light, minimal, like no makeup makeup for work because it just brightens the under eyes without being too like matte or heavy. So I just blend it out and then you can't even tell that I have any concealer on. Like I could just do that if I wanna make my face look more awake and it doesn't look like I have any makeup on. And then I also have the Luminous Silk Cheek Tints. And these also are nice because I love the Rare Beauty liquid blushes, but those are pigmented, which are good if you know I'm doing like a heavier, like full glam moment. But on these days when I'm just doing like very, very light, kind of bare face, like look at that. It just adds like the perfect amount of just like a little light wash of color. You don't have to worry about being too heavy handed and then it looking ridiculous, you know? But anyway, on the agenda today, I have two clients. The first one is a returning client. She was actually one of the first clients I had at the suite. Just like covered up some old color and did gray blending. So now she's coming in for a partial. 
just to like refresh. And then my second client is new. I know we're definitely covering gray roots. And then she said she wants to get her highlights fixed. So it looks like she has really, really dark hair naturally with a lot of gray, has been getting just permanent root coverage, and then her ends are lighter. She didn't submit any inspiration pictures, so I don't really know what she needs by fix her highlights. So we'll see when I do the consultation. But yeah, we're gonna do root coverage and then some type of like dimensional color on the ends. Hi. Yeah, I'm just like putting stuff away and setting up. I got a new apron. Oh, you because. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, good, good. Yeah, it's, it's so good. Good to get away from like, you know, a toxic type of environment oh God, like yeah. that. And they're like, well, and then we're supposed to be meeting like half like that. So I need one taller. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yes. So all your tools are in there. Mm-hmm. And you just close it up. Yeah. Oh, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that is the one thing that's been an adjustment is kind of getting used to like Hello, hi could i place an order for takeout please could i have a medium beef pho? i'll have that ready in about 10 minutes perfect thank you my first client and i were talking about pho i had been craving that recently and she said she was gonna go get some after her appointment so i was like that sounds good i think i'm gonna get that tonight too but um, my second client was great. It's six o'clock on the dot. I started at 12 today. Um, and I thought I was gonna end up being here till like seven. So I finished earlier than expected, which is always amazing. And I don't have too much to clean because I was able to clean as I go. Uh, and I completely forgot to get an after picture of her hair, which I am pretty bummed about because her hair came out so pretty and it would have made for such good after pictures but oh well she did permanent root coverage and then she had like the old grown out balayage or highlights whatever on the ends but it was just time to like bring everything up and kind of refresh and blend it and i toned it down just a little bit to like a really pretty like teddy bear brown oh my god so pretty i am gonna grab my stuff and head out of here i'm gonna end this vlog here i'm gonna start a new one in a couple days so stay tuned for that don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to anna luisa again thank you to them for sponsoring a portion of this vlog and i will see you guys really soon in my next video bye